So you can see why we're um, targeting, looking at hard substrate to try and find corals. I'd say an octopus lives around here somewhere, if I were to guess. Uh, that's a good guess. Hiding out somewhere. And all the dead shells. Wow. wow. So Jenny Richard is chiming in. He says that he did see the octopus uh, that Josh suspected lived there. It said it pulled back as the ROV approached. That is wild. A lot of relationships going on here. Do the corals benefit at all from all that stuff growing on them? I don't think so. I think that the other animals are benefiting because they are better able to feed in the water column. I'm trying okay. to think if there would be a benefit to the coral. I've heard some people say that it can clean other organisms off. Hey, fish. Rat tail. Could be that one below it. And then uh, On the left, that, that looks like a black coral, doesn't it? Oh. oh. <laughs> what is going on? Wow, that's uh, interesting. Like He's just taking a I quick way down. Crabis floodensis. It's a fairly big shrimp. Yeah, what's up, big shrimp? Another 10 meters of bearing, zero, six, zero. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. You can see the little polyps. Nice. So, pretty easy to visualize this upwelling, too. <laughs> Gary, how old do you think it is? Come on. Take a guess. Take a good, educated a guess. <laughs> what kind of order of magnitude? Yeah. Like 10 um, years, maybe? No, longer than that is my guess from just looking at Yeah, at least a couple of decades, recently. I would say, yeah. Yeah. Wow. My guess is 40 to 200. <laughs> wow. That's a long, that's that is, a wide wow. range. It's a wide range. Well, it's bigger than 10, yeah. and it's less than 1,000. Oh, yeah, sure. 